Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. There are several scenarios besides getting hit by a missile that sends chills down a pilot's spine. One of these scenarios is known as a bird strike. During which a bird or a flock of birds collide with the aircraft and cause significant damage, leading to the loss of control and in the worst case scenario, a potential crash. From 1985 to 2016, bird strikes killed 36 American airmen and caused damage to engines, wings, fuselage, or other critical components of the aircraft. If the engines are damaged, the plane can either lose power or fail altogether. However, if the wings are damaged, the aircraft's ability to generate lift is compromised, which makes it difficult or impossible for the pilot to maintain altitude. To preserve the lives of pilots and crew members, the U.S. military takes extreme steps to mitigate the risks associated with bird strikes. As cars on the road are subjected to wear and tear such as worn tires and belts, cracked windshields and depleted fluids, aircraft like the A-10 Thunderbolt are subjected to more extreme conditions in the air, which is why their upkeep requirements are exceptional. The A-10 is kept in a large hangar where airmen work day and night to maintain the aircraft if any incident occurs, so it can continue to serve as a reliable combat asset. On May 30th, 2023, the structural rib on an A-10's horizontal stabilizer was severely damaged due to a mid-flight bird strike, leading Air Force engineers to declare the aircraft unfit for flight. However, the maintainers were later able to recover the aircraft by swapping the tail sections with a different A-10 aircraft, which was already grounded and being used as a munitions and maintenance training aid. During the tail swapping procedure, the airmen disconnected wires, hydraulic actuators, and flight control cable assemblies. Later, they hooked and hoisted the vertical and horizontal stabilizers with a crane and performed about 60 electrical, hydraulic, and flight surface rigging checks to make sure the swap was successful. It's not just the tail that has been replaced. There have been many instances where the A-10's parts were replaced. For example, on October 10, 2022, airmen from the 357th Fighter Generation Squadron replaced the wings of an A-10 Thunderbolt II at davis Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona. The A-10 aircraft cannot be torn apart and inspected between every flight on the flight line. Therefore, they are subjected to an in-depth inspection after every 500 and 1,000 flight hours for Phase 1 and Phase 2 inspections. During Phase 1, the maintainers thoroughly check each component, look for cracks, and replace anything that is irrecoverable. Each jet will come in here, we'll tear it apart by depaneling it, opening up everything, and uh, replace components if needed. And we pretty much inspect the entire aircraft for any defects. Phase one usually takes nine days and is a pretty simple procedure because it does not involve any test flight. 
On the other hand, phase two is a complex procedure which includes oil and filter changes and inspections of critical systems like the steering unit. The A-10 Thunderbolt is a highly specialized aircraft capable of close air support, combat search and rescue, and airborne forward air control. The secret to A-10's prowess lies in its two General Electric TF-34 turbofan engines. Hence, the 355th Component Maintenance Squadron's A-10 engine back shop ensures these engines are always mission ready. When an engine is brought in, the airmen in the back shop analyze what maintenance the engines need and how to fix every problem timely and efficiently. Pulsion flight, they will tear down the engine, inspect it, replace any high wear parts or time change parts. They put the engine back together, and at that point, you don't know if the engine's serviceable or it will actually perform or operate. So we get the engine out here, and we ensure that the engine, the start function works, the shutdown function works, air functions work, and make sure it's achieving the appropriate amount of thrust and efficiency. The testing is performed in a hush house because the engines create noise pollution. The hush houses have sound suppression material on the walls, which helps maintain a quiet environment. A-10 aircraft boasts a remarkable armament which symbolizes its fearsome reputation. It's armed with a 30 millimeter GAU 8A Avenger rotary cannon, capable of firing 1174 rounds in one go. Before launching an aircraft for an attack mission, the airmen ensure all of the components of the weapons are fully functional. The components and the cannon, along with the ammunition, are loaded onto the A-10 aircraft, transforming it into a devastating firepower. Once the weaponry is loaded, the aircraft takes off to perform gunnery exercises. These exercises focus on firing weapons directly toward the targets, which not only enhances the pilot's capabilities, but also keeps the aircraft in working order. Sometimes, the United States Marine Corps has to conduct missions as soon as possible, which requires it to launch aircraft in no time. For this reason, AV-8B Harrier aircraft has always come in handy, particularly due to their vertical takeoff and landing capability which allows them to operate from small aircraft carriers, large amphibious assault ships, and forward operating bases. 
The vertical takeoff is achieved using a revolutionary system known as vectored thrust. A powerful turbofan engine rotates its exhaust nozzle to direct the thrust downwards, providing enough lift to overcome gravity and allow the aircraft to rise vertically. For landing, the exhaust nozzles are rotated downwards to slow the aircraft's descent, allowing it to land vertically. The Harrier's lineage can be traced back to the 1960s, when the British company Hawker Siddeley developed the first successful VTOL jet aircraft. The Harrier II, a later development of this technology, entered service with the United States Marine Corps in 1985, after achieving initial operating capability. It has since been deployed in numerous conflicts, including the Persian Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan. In fact, this aircraft has provided its services in almost every conflict involving the U.S. Marine Corps. The cost of an AV-8B Harrier jet ranges from $15 million to $30 million. And hence, maintaining these pricey jets is important. These aircraft feature advanced technologies with multiple systems that require regular checks to ensure their safe and efficient operation. Poor maintenance can sometimes lead to malfunctions, breakdowns, and ultimately, accidents. However, if properly maintained, the lifespan of Harrier jets can be extended, which is important because these aircraft are expensive assets of the U.S. military. The United States military has the most versatile helicopters in the rotary wing arsenal, such as the twin-engine AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. With a tailwheel-type landing gear and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two, this aircraft was developed in the 1970s as a replacement for the aging AH-1 Cobra attack helicopter. The AH-64's nose-mounted sensors help acquire targets and provide night vision. Moreover, it's armed with various armaments, such as the M230 chain gun. AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and Hydra-70 rockets. Maintenance is a critical factor that keeps the AH-64 in perfect condition. Similar to the A-10, the AH-64 undergoes phase maintenance after every 500 flight hours. During the maintenance procedure, several components are removed from the AH-64 for inspection. The main rotor, tail assemblies, engines, landing gears, weapon systems, and other structural components are inspected thoroughly, and defective parts are either replaced or repaired. The AH-64 is 58 feet long with its rotors fully extended and measures nearly 13 feet high, making them larger than other military helicopters, except those used for transportation. Although the AH-64 is designed with wheels, it cannot actually taxi. Instead, it must be towed to and from the hangar.
towing a helicopter is a common practice, mainly due to the fact that an additional engine for forward movement would only add weight and use additional space. On December 13, 2017, crew members from Fort Hood, Texas moved an AH-64 Apache helicopter to the flight line. After conducting routine maintenance at Storks Barracks, Illesheim Army Airfield in Bavaria, Germany. The regular and phase maintenance of aircraft is critical to ensure operational readiness and safety. This not only enhances aircraft longevity, but also safeguards mission effectiveness and the well-being of aircrew. Attack aircraft play pivotal roles in military operations. Therefore, their continuous maintenance through specified maintenance protocols remains indispensable. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.